Good morning, everyone. Hi, and uh, welcome to a vlog, a mini vlog um, of me in Senegal.
just checked into the hotel. Um, it's nice, it's really nice, but I'm so tired and the restaurant is closed. So I have to go out and try and find something to eat before everything closes. But um, Dakar at night is open. It's Everything is open. So let me go find something to eat, come back, shower and sleep. I'm tired. But it's really nice. Um, I'll, I'll show you a clip of uh, the room tour. It's quite nice. okay because I can't figure out how to place the camera uh, I'm in Senegal uh, yay I arrived I arrived last night and uh, yeah this is my birthday trip um, I turned 40 and uh, this has been one of my my wishes and I remember writing it down I've, I thought about it I've been thinking about it but I wrote it down at the beginning of this year when I was uh, doing my my goals uh, for the year. And I remember writing it down and saying, yeah, write it down, make it happen. That's a principle that I, I live by. Um, and I, I, know, I knew in my, he in my head, I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know when um, or how, <laughs> but I knew uh, it was going to happen. And uh, just through planning, lots of planning and uh, the amazing um, family that I have, um, we made it possible. So I'm here in Senegal. I'm in Dakar. I checked in into my hotel yesterday. It's quite lovely. I'll show you. I have a footage. I took a footage of uh, a room tour, kind of. I'll share that with you. Uh, I just wanted to make this the first part of the, I think, vlog one. I'll do it in different vlogs uh, so that it's not too much. And uh, I'll take you along. I know um, this is more of a, a book channel, but I felt like a bit of travel can come into it too because um, I'll be reading. Um, I'm alone. <laughs> So I'll, I'll have time to also read. Let me share with you a book that I'm almost finished. Um, I don't know if you can see this. It's uh, So Long A Letter by Miriama Ba, Be, I think you pronounce it Be because it's an A. Um, yeah, it's, um, I knew traveling to Senegal, I wanted a book by a Senegalese uh, writer, and this came highly recommended. So I read this on the plane. I was so tired, I didn't finish reading it, but I'm, fi I'm going to finish it now before I leave for the day. Um, and it's the story, it's a letter um, written by a woman who has been scorned. Um, her husband decided to marry a second wife after over 25 years of living together. And so she's writing a letter to her best friend. It is very good. It's a small book, so I'm going to finish it. It's, it's a really good book. It's part of the Heinemann African Writers series. Um, so I felt Senegal, I needed to start with a Senegalese um, author. And then next, I'll also be reading... Um, the Screwtape Letters by C.S. Lewis. Uh, this was or is the um, book club pick. I mean, a book club pick. It's called The Hangout Cafe. 
and this is the book we're actually discussing to, today in the evening. I don't think I'll make it for the for the book club meet uh, because I'll be walking around uh, somewhere. <laughs> but I just wanted to read it. So I'll read it, uh, finish it, hopefully by tomorrow. Yeah. So those are the two books that I've, um, I'm, I'm reading. And also I woke up and did uh, a little bit of journaling. Let me show you... Um, the page, um, what I wrote, uh, my goals for the year, because I journaled, I did my, how do you call it? It's not called manifestation. Like, I just did my goals in my, in my journal, so I can always go back to it. So here, as you can see, for traveling, I had Senegal, and I also have Tokyo, which I hope will also happen. But Senegal, I'm here. <laughs> um, let me show you. Uh, as you can see, yeah, this is my journal. Um, dreams and thoughts. And uh, yeah, I wrote Senegal and travel. And it's happening. And um, let me show you. Look at my room. I haven't unpacked. Um, it's weird when you're traveling alone, you don't really care. <laughs> but I'll do that um, after I've done some reading. Yeah, so let me do some reading and just relax. It's, um, what's the time? It is, it is eight o'clock. Uh, but I've been up, I think, for an hour already because I think we are two hours ahead of Germany. So, I think my body is already like, hey, it's morning. Yeah. So I just do some reading and um, shower, get dressed, and go get some breakfast. So I'm, I finally unpacked and uh, I'm showered and ready to start my day. It's um, <laughs> 11 30. Um, these are what I am carrying with me. Uh, that's my bag. Uh, my tote bag this was a birthday gift from a dear friend of mine thank you so much she knows me so well and uh, so i have my small bag this is from afronova uh bum bag it's uh, then this is the book i'm reading um that's my personal things bag charger selfie stick a bottle of water sunglasses and a fan let me show you my outfit. Yeah, so I'm dressed. This is my outfit of the day. Uh, Senegal is a Muslim country. Uh, the population is mostly Muslim. So I packed accordingly. Uh, the dress is from Zara. No, from Mango. Then I just have a t-shirt. This is from H&M. It's actually my daughter's. And um, sandals. My sandals are also from Mango. Yeah, so that's my full outfit of the day.
was removed by you know bureaucratic uh, processes in the university. Um, I found a really good um, a designer who was just completely removed uh, by illness and other uh, crazy thing. And then the publisher that was removed, uh, that um, put me in contact with an artist, Jasmine uh, Gilwoodhu, who is based in the Netherlands, she's South African. And we had to wait about eight months uh, for her to become available. And through a process of um, conversations over two months, like literally we'd meet for three, four hours online, uh, for two, three months, the book came together. And it was more a question of, at first I would want to take certain things out and make a more something closer to a photo book, or something closer to an artist book, or something closer to an anthropology.